Good evening, my name is Michael Dunn and I serve as the superintendent at Northeast Washington Educational Service District 101. It's my honor to welcome you to our 2022 Regional High School Art Show. Similar to last year, we are grateful for the ability to host our annual art show and awards ceremony in a virtual format this year to highlight the remarkable artistic talents of students who are enrolled across the 59 public school districts, 45 private schools, and three charter schools in our Northeast Washington region. Situated on the ancestral land of the Plateau peoples, New ESD 101 acknowledges the indigenous peoples who have occupied this region since time immemorial. Some of the region's tribes include the Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, and Kalispell bands, along with those making up the confederated tribes of the Colville Reservation. We extend our deepest respect and gratitude to Native people as original stewards of this land and are committed to restorative justice through anti-racist actions. Within the next hour, you will get a chance to view all 139 magnificent works of art submitted this year, witness the announcement of more than 44 awards, and watch a collection of student-submitted videos explaining the inspiration behind the students' works. In addition to first, second, and third place awards, special awards will be presented by our new ESD 101 Board of Directors, by myself as a superintendent, by our staff, community judges, and Avista Utilities. Additionally, a People's Choice Award will be presented as well as several scholarship awards offered by Central Washington University, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you to all of the talented student artists who submitted work and to everyone who helped to put this virtual exhibit and ceremony together. We'd like to kick off this award show by announcing the Superintendent's Choice Award. Every year, I look forward to having the wonderful opportunity of looking at all of the regional art show submissions and personally selecting a piece to be permanently displayed at RESD. I'm delighted to announce that this year's Superintendent Choice Award goes to Unseen by Grace Smith, who is from Central Valley High School, and her instructor is Rebecca Wilkins Pepiton. I was deeply moved by the themes of identity, voice, and visibility conveyed in this piece, as well as the artist's stellar collage and mixed media technique. In addition to Grace's work unseen having a perpetual home at RESD, Grace will be awarded a $200 cash prize. Congratulations to you, Grace, and the other extraordinary student artists participating in this year's show. Good afternoon, I am Phil Champlin and currently serve on new ESD 101's Board of Directors. This year, as always, our seven member board had the opportunity to review regional high school art show submissions for 2022 and select a piece to be on permanent display in our new ESD 101 facility. Additionally, the artists of this selected work will receive a cash award of $200. It is my honor to announce that this year's board choice award goes to Beauty Galore by Thea Page from Micah Peak High School, instructed by Lynn Wilberding. The artist included a statement about her piece that read, I believe that beauty isn't derived from the color of our skin, and I wanted to show that in this painting. Well, well done, mission accomplished, and congratulations. Our board strongly believes in the importance of the arts education and appreciates all of the incredible artwork submitted this year. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tracy Poindexter Canton and I'm the communications officer here at New ESD 101. Every year, our New ESD 101 staff views all art show submissions and votes on the piece we'd like to keep on permanent display here at our office located on Regal Street in South Spokane. In addition to having their piece forever grace our ESD wall, the student selected for our Staff Choice Award will also receive a cash prize of $200. On behalf of our new ESD 101 team, I'm super excited to announce that the Staff Choice Award this year goes to Annika Hansen from West Valley High School instructed by Rose Honey. Our staff was drawn to the rich and vibrant imagery depicted in Annika's acrylic painting titled Girl in the Lupin Field. Congratulations Annika and a major shout out to all of the immensely talented students who submitted their work to our regional high school art show this year. 
Hi, I'm Chris Rakedahl, Superintendent of Public Instruction for the State of Washington, and I just want to say congratulations to all the students. Um, we are going into our 49th year of the Superintendent's Art Show. This is an awesome engagement from around the state. It's just powerful to watch students engage in art. We know it's a form of expression, which can be therapeutic and powerful, and it can connect us, but it can also be a form of incredible teaching and learning. We learn sequential skills and we learn all kinds of things about uh, how to logically put together concepts, but we can also do it in a way that's so creative and expressive that we don't even realize how structured it is. That's what makes it so amazing. And never forget about the economic impacts of this. Art in the state of Washington is a $25 billion a year industry with respect to people's earnings. Every one of our downtowns, all of the creative applications that you see, um, almost everything we do in this economy, there is an artist associated with it, which makes it really powerful in the economy. So thank you, keep pushing through, keep creating, keep expressing, keep using it as a way to learn. And obviously, uh, let's just keep the momentum of what art means to everybody. Uh, which is connection. That's what makes it so incredible in so many ways. And finally, to our ESD partners, our educational service districts, thank you for your regional partnership. We do this all over the state. Ultimately, we uh, get an opportunity to recognize students in every region and at the statewide level. So thank you to our students, our families, our educators, to our ESD leads. You all are amazing. Have an awesome, awesome year of art. Hello, I'm Raja. I'm one of the judges for the contest. And on behalf of all the judges, I wanted to say that we really appreciate looking at your work and that we're excited for you all as creators and artists. Now, what we looked for in the artwork was fourfold. It was creativity, composition, technique, and emotion. Those are the literal criteria. When we look at art, we don't always look with these filters first. We look to connect with the work or the person that has created it. And I look for that feeling that I connect with the piece, sometimes in a way I fully don't understand. And that's kind of the mystery and why creating is never as simple as it looks to be. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later, but with no further ado, the Judges' Choice Awards are in no particular order. Heteromedy by Taylor Arredondo from Central Valley High School. Mine and Birds by Sophia Rusk from Innovation High School. Ophelia by McKenna Green from Mount Spokane High School. The Gaze by Hannah Cornwell from East Valley High School. And Time is Money by Lincoln Hansen from West Valley High School. Congrats to all of you on your wins, as well as everyone else who picked up the gold or silver or bronze awards in this contest. And as a side note, it feels good to win. But as someone who's been making photos for a while and has won a few contests, I've lost far more. And I want to tell you that whether or not your art took home any awards this year, it's not the reason an artist makes work. The important part of creating something new is that we're honest in our work and that we look to create things that are true to ourselves and explore ideas or themes that are unexplored. For me, this has been a lifetime search. And though my personal criteria for making work have changed, the reason for making it hasn't. I hope that every one of you looks to your art and your talents to find parts of yourself and explore parts of the craft. There's this idea of taste, and perhaps you've heard about this. It, our tastes often exceed our abilities. It's true for me, it's true for most artists, and it brings us back to creating things new every time. And while you may feel that you are more brilliant than your classmates, there's someone out there more brilliant than yourselves. And so all we can do, and all I can do, is go out there and just make something more. And so that's what I encourage you guys to do, is to, whether or not you won something or didn't, that the search that you're after now, continue on that and continue to make and explore this part of your artistic selves. Thank you for letting us see your work, and we look forward to next year's contest. All right, have a good one. Bye.
Hi, my name is McKenna Green. I'm a senior at Mount Spokane High School, located in Spokane, Washington, and I've always had a passion for art. Art has become more of a coping mechanism for me to express myself and my mental health, which is why my pieces are based on mental illnesses and their impact. I love creating pieces that express complicated emotions and help people who are struggling with mental health to connect to the piece and feel understood. I love seeing people interpret art in their own way, which is why I love creating it. I chose chalk pastels for this piece because it started as a guided project, but I wanted to create something more meaningful and expressive. The chalk pastels blend together very well, and I enjoyed using my hands to blend them out and feel more connected to the piece. I really wanted to show her grief and mental struggles, something she couldn't control, because people who believe that mental illness is something that can just go away will see that it is truly out of your hands. I hope to double major in art and psychology to become an art therapist, especially with COVID-19, the demand for therapists is increasing and I want to help people cope with their trauma and mental illness like I have through art. My name is Mariah Von Baron, and I'm a senior at Mount Spokane High School in Spokane, Washington. This is a piece I made earlier this year for my AP portfolio and I thought it'd be perfect to submit to this competition as well. I believe that art has the power to impact people emotionally and then ultimately change the world. And so as a queer student, I wanted to create a piece that would reflect the love and strength of that community. Um, I also wanted to depict multiple skin tones to truly show that love has no bounds, whether that is platonic or romantic. Um, so I hope that this piece can inspire you as much as it has inspired me. Hello, my name is Abigail LeGru. I am a junior at Mount Spokane High School in Mead. I am 17 years old. I love to draw, I love to paint, read, hang out with my family and do art. For me, art is a very therapeutic outlet and a reflection of my emotions that I have trouble speaking and communicating with others. I can put the, those emotions onto a canvas or a platform that I can show people what I'm really truly feeling without having to explain and use words. I feel like that's very important nowadays because especially with COVID, we have a hard time meeting face to face with people. And so being able to show someone a picture of your art and be like, oh, I connect and understand versus having to talk and people don't always view things the right way or interpret things the right way. But with art, it's a very good way to show your emotions clearly and easily with people you barely know. Hello, my name is Cody Killen. Uh, I go to Cheney High School and I live in Cheney, Washington. Uh, my piece is called The Blue String, and what inspired it was uh, a bunch of my father's tools that he has. Um, he passed away a few years ago, and at the time I wasn't really into doing a lot of stuff with wood and other things, so I didn't really use any of his tools or anything. Uh, but now that I'm getting older, I'm interested more in them, and I've began to use them a lot more, and so I wanted to portray myself um, discovering how to use my father's tools and learning a bit about them through his tools. So that's why I named the blue string and there's a blue string that uh, goes throughout the photo that is on top of all the tools. Um, how did I make it? I just put a bunch of the tools in an interesting way that I thought would be appealing to the eye and then I laid the blue string atop of a bunch of it. Uh, what did I learn? I, I learned that uh, 
I I really I'm good at being able to portray my message. I don't normally portray a lot of messages in my photographs, but um, in this case I did and it came out really well. Hello, my name is Grace Van Blaircom and I go to Mount Spokane High School in Mead, Washington. I am a senior and have been doing art since I was three years old. I love to do photorealism art pieces and my main medium is charcoal. However, to convey this message of this art piece properly, I chose to work with acrylic paint. Through the isolation of COVID-19 going down, a dark mental spiral is something that most people have experienced when being quarantined. Yet it is important to realize that everyone has a guardian angel. I painted a beautiful and graceful angel with soft colors to show the beauty in the darkness, that even in isolation, there's always an angel watching over you. Hi, my name is Zoe Monroe, and I made this piece inspired by my Peruvian culture. Growing up in Peru, I've always learned about Cabezas Clavas and have been very attracted to the specific aspect of our history because with the clay, it was made to trap moments in history. I use this thought process when making ma this mask, trying to trap things that have special meaning to me so that they never go away. For example, some of the wave patterns and the seaweed on the bottom, the smoothness of my mom's touch and my dad's goatee. Not only that, but I wanted to show that some things don't need to be perfect, like masks. It is not necessarily symmetrical, but it is still beautiful, so I exaggerated his bone features and made his nose slightly crooked. Hello, my name is Matisse Mulch. I go to Lakeside High School and live in Nine Mile Falls. I've been doing art ever since I was little and fell in love with painting and being able to create a picture. My favorite medium is acrylic paint, which is what this piece is in. I named it Mount Sac because that is the location in the painting. I chose a picture from after a cross country race because that is how I met Madeline, shown in the painting, and how we became friends. Without cross country or Madeline, I wouldn't be who I am today and I wanted to honor that. Thank you for watching and learning about my painting. I am pleased to announce the 2002 Avista's Choice Award winner, Rachel Peterson, for her stained glass panel called Innocent Rumination that contained an impressive 167 hand cut pieces. In honor of this creative achievement, Avista will make a contribution of $250 to the arts program at her school, On Track Academy. Congratulations, Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel Peterson. I go to On Track Academy in Spokane, Washington, and today I will be showing you my most challenging and largest stained glass piece that I've done today. I've been doing stained glass for about five months because it's a class that I take it on track, but in those short months, it's really become a passion for me and it really motivates me to go to school every day. In making this piece, I've learned how to do intricate wire work how to strengthen a large piece such as mine, which is 20 by 24 inches with 167 individual pieces and much more. So please enjoy this video showing the process of making the piece.
Hello, my name is Greg Schlanger and I am the chair of the Department of Art at Central Washington University. Central Washington University is at the crossroads of Interstate I-90 and I-84, right in the middle of the state. At Central Washington University in the Department of Art and Design, we offer several degree programs uh, in studio art and graphic design and also now in art education. We have studio areas that include ceramics, drawing, graphic design, jewelry and metalsmithing, painting, photography, sculpture, and wood design. The awards I am presenting are CWU scholarships. Each student will receive an award, certificate, and letter with specific details on the award. All six awards tonight are for $2,000. Our first award goes to Molly Andrews. Uh, Molly's piece here, uh, this is a great use of control of the medium. Uh, I especially enjoy the composition, placing the reflection of the figure in the eye of the figure. Excellent job, Molly. $2,000. Our next award goes to McKenna Green, and this is McKenna's piece, Ophelia. This piece demonstrates a great use of chalk pastels. The figure is rendered beautifully. While she is underwater and the struggle is apparent, there's a sense of hope as Ophelia reaches for the light. The next award is to Sophia Rusk and Sophia's piece, Mine of Birds. This is a nice use of pen and ink in this drawing. The details of the birds and specifically the feathers are well crafted. The next award is to Emily Harder. This drawing demonstrates a command of the drawing material. The strong light source gives the figure form and definition. And our next award is to Kingston Favero. Uh, this is for a photograph, Monroe Street Bridge. It's a really nice photograph capturing an interesting and unique point of view. The contrast between light and dark creates balance within the composition. And our final award is to Isaiah Phillips for a ceramic sculpture piece, Stages. This ceramic sculpture appears to be well-crafted. There is an interesting composition as the skull transforms into a flower. Congratulations to you all. Please reach out to me with any questions on your award. Uh, my email is right there in the slide. It's my last name, Schlanger, at cw.edu. Thank you for the opportunity. Hello, my name is Mia Taylor and my piece is called Aperture of Pity. It is acrylic on canvas and 
for my piece, I really just wanted to capture the feeling of suffocation and the tightness of the expectations of the world. And the woman in the piece is so tightly bound with this level of anxiety that eventually she bursts into butterflies. And that's about it. Hello, my name is Samara Lars. That's not my real name. I'm 16 and I go to Mount Spokane High School. This is my piece. My style is inspired off of kind of the internet with its webtoons, its more cartoons, and then some more older abstract artists. Art for me allows me to meditate on my feelings and my thoughts, it allows me to express myself and kind of help me figure myself out. It also allows me to connect on a deeper level to other people. And I thank you for listening. My name is Livia Gleaton and I go to Mount Spokane High School in Mead. Uh, one of my favorite things about art is its versatility and uh, the idea that you can look at a piece of art and think of one thing while someone else can look at it and see something completely different. In my eyes, this painting was an expression of faith. Um, the halo is beautiful and golden, but it's also dripping down the figure in a way that's reminiscent of Jesus's crown of thorns. Uh, so it can be taken as a blessing or a curse. Uh, that, so there's beauty and faith, but there's also pain in it and self-discovery. Religion is something that pe ha has both helped a lot of people um, and hurt a lot of people. This painting was done in oil paint, which is one of my favorite forms of media to work in. Um, I started working with oil paint uh, less than a year ago, uh, and I instantly enjoyed it because of how smooth the paint is um, and how much easier I found it to paint portrait fig and portraits and figures when the paint remains wet longer. Um, oil painting is definitely still a challenge and requires patience and attention to detail, but um, it's also helped me grow a lot in my art. Um, I am of the opinion that art affects every detail of our lives, so everything you see when you look around you has been affected by art in some way. Um, otherwise, we would all be walking through a world uh, devoid of color and individuality. Now more than ever, I think art can bring people together and provide those who feel isolated with comfort whether that is reviewing art or creating it.
Hi, my name is Graciela Alvarez. I'm a junior at Mount Spokane High School, and I live in Spokane, Washington. I created this piece, Floating, to represent how I, and I feel like a lot of other people, felt this past few years have been for them. It's been a very confusing time, and I know that I personally have been very lost, almost, but I think that we need to learn to go with the flow and just see where this journey takes us and I know that there is light at the end of this tunnel and we just need to find that light and be that light for others and even though times are rough we need to learn to just sit back and enjoy the ride. Hello, my name is Amelia Killen. I go to Cheney High School. I live in Cheney, Washington. Um, art has made a difference in my life because it's really opened up different opportunities for me to express myself and I've always really enjoyed making art. It's just always brought me a lot of joy to do. For my piece, I used um, colored pencils for drawing the person, which was new to me because I usually don't use colored pencils as much as I did in this piece. And it was hard, it was challenging because it was a new material and it was like brand new, but I think it turned out really nice because the colors were looked really good with the picture. And for the um, shadow box I created with it, I have... Um, I used wood and it was a new experience for me because I don't usually use wood. So that was really fun to do and it was a very enriching experience making my art.
Hello, my name is Mick Miller, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Student Learning and Support Services at Northeast Educational Service District 101. On behalf of New ESD 101, I would like to give special thanks to the following people for their contributions to this event. To our judges, Raja Bose, Shalom Parker, Cal Richardson, Greg Schlanger, and Shelley Weinkoop. We are so appreciative of these individuals for graciously sharing their time and expertise while scoring all of this year's submissions. Thank you as well to Christine Meyer, Executive Director of the Avista Foundation for providing classroom awards, to, East, to Central Washington University for offering student scholarships, and to videographer Ben Gertel for assisting in the creation of this virtual ceremony, and to the new ESD 101 Board of Directors and the following staff members, Mary Kempel, Tracy Poindexter Canton, Chris Hilton, and Steve Schreiner. We thank you for your efforts in making our second virtual regional art show and award ceremony a success. Congratulations again to all of the winners and best wishes to those students moving onward to the state competition May 26th. To all the students, uh, student artists in our region, we revel in your talents and look forward to future opportunities that foster creative expression and support arts education. To the educators, students, parents, families, and community members who were able to attend this virtual event, we thank you for joining us and hope to see you again next year.